uh, I have received the email from the Victoria University that you have to upload the GPA report. So uh, if I click on this particular link, which is which they just sent me, so you can see it's saying uh, by continuing, you are agree that you are ordering a scholar or uh, GPA report. Just click on this particular link. So now, as you can see, I'm saying I I only need one report. You can also select the here from the drop down. So I have selected the Pakistan rupees because I am from Pakistan. If you are from uh, England, just check your related currency. So you can also select the USD or any kind of currency you are going to pay. Okay. So uh, five reports, no fine. Ten reports, no fine. I just need a single report. Just click on the next button. So now, as you can see, they are saying just create the uh, account so i'm saying uh, i'm going to create the account uh, so this is my email address and this is my official email address fine and i'm going to create password so this is my password this is my password i'm saying create the account okay so uh, as you can see it's saying uh, services one three thousand two PKR rupees. So I'm saying I'm going to pay with my credit card or debit card. I'm just going to click on this particular checkbox. Just submit it. Before doing this, you have to use the card. So I have the credit card. You can also use your debit card. Date and also the CVV code. Click on the submit button. So as you can see, thank you to continue the premium. I'm saying fine. Okay, so now this is your dashboard. You can also check the email at email. I hope so. They send you the email of the purchasing this particular product. So as you can see, they have just sent me to confirm my email address because i have just used the email address and also they are they've just sent me the order so this is your confirmations uh, okay fine click on the sign in page i have already signed in with my account okay so now as you can see uh, i'm saying create a cgp report from here create one i'm saying my name is shazad ahmed Make sure before doing, before filling any kind of fields, you have to carefully check. Okay, so now the country is Pakistan. Okay, so this is the grading for Ikra University. I'm going to give my document. So let me check where is where are my documents definitely available in my c drive available here so this is my masters and here this is my transcript i'm giving the transcript and it's uploading the transcript so i hope so they are using the ai based mechanism which fish or read the files and add the data here so as you can see advanced architecture okay so credit hours three so it's not fine you have to check manually try it or you can give directly i'm going to give directly read the image and give me the data okay so one two three four five six okay so now it's not giving you the correct information i'm going to clean this one and i'm going to use this particular course name maximum maximum credit hour four this is another course another course these are the six theses are four credit hour otherwise i have four credit hour for everyone so this is the maximum credit hour and the obtained grade so i'm going to check what are my obtained grade so c plus c c plus 
C C and Bosch theory C plus A C and also A C plus and this is A and B and this is Charles. saying create make sure double check that everything is fine i'm saying create the cgp report as you can see it's saying this is the report for cgpa i'm saying save as as a pdf file so uh, save this file as a pdf i'm saying for Shahzad Ahmed, hit the enter button. So, as you can see, this is Shahzad Ahmed report ID. This one report date country Pakistan, grade scale, Ikra University. So, CGPA scale, and as you can see, fine total credit hours. So, this is the overall mechanism. So, now I'm going back to the my applications now i am just uploading the report which i have just exported as a pdf i am saying save and return to the dashboard once again double check everything is fine or not so as you can see cgpa and now preview your applications so this is your applications and this is the report which i have uploaded this is the same report so now i'm going to resubmit the button resubmit application continue with submit okay now i have successfully submitted the report